I cast a woman to play a man because she was the best actress for the role or the best actor for the role. And went like this. My boss gave me a call. He said, uh, you're going to get a call from Peter Weir. He's a director that's doing a picture for us. Uh, and um, he needs to recast a part. Uh, Peter called. He needed was a, 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 a Eurasian dwarf. And um, so he sent me the script. I read it. I expected it was just kind of a, you know, one part of his, of an ensemble, and I just go, wow, this is the lead. And I, I really didn't know where to go except to bring in everybody short. And what I did is I, I brought him in from L.A., and I hired a casting director to, to scour New York. And it wasn't going too well in L.A. We, we saw a lot of people. We put them on film. Uh, this agent walks into my office, and he slams down a picture, and he says, Joe, you got to meet Linda Hunt. And, and uh, turns out Linda Hunt's in New York. And uh, when Peter came into the office, I said, uh, hey, Peter. And I picked up the picture, and I showed it to him. I said, what do you think? He said, ah, it's an interesting fella. And I said, it's not a fella. It's a, guy. It's a woman. And he said, forget it. You know, just, just drop it. And I said, and I pushed it a little bit, but he insisted, no, he doesn't want to meet a woman. He needs, he needs a man, you know. That's what the part is. So we get to New York, and I, I, oh, no, 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 first. I call up Pat, and I says, do you know Linda Hunt? And she says, yeah. And I says, uh, and I told her this agent gave me the picture. And she says, Linda's a great actress. She works at the Long Wharf Theater in Connecticut. And, and I said, well, bring her in. And so, we, when we, so we're in New York. We're, we're bringing in all these actors. We're having the same kind of trouble here that we had in L.A. Nothing is happening, you know. We're not, we're not even close. And uh, I turned to Peter and I says, um, I, Peter, I, I brought in Linda Hunt and she's next. And he, he's a really, really, really nice man. But he turned to ice. He says, I told you not to bring her in. Don't embarrass me. I do not want to be an embarrassment. So you brought her in, you dismiss her. Okay. So I go out and I start off, hi, Linda. And she goes, hello, Joe. It is ridiculous. I said, you stay right there. I went back and see Peter. I said, Peter, you're going to meet her whether you like it or not. I went out before he could make a move. I grabbed her. I pulled her into the office. And um, she was charming. He was charming. And I was just sitting there watching this, this, this magic work. And after about uh, 10 minutes of conversation and no reading, not a re not a, no reading at all, we dismissed her and Peter's pumping his arms, he's stomping his feet, he's saying, it's genius, it's sheer genius. And so the next day, we bring Linda in with a video camera and we teach her how to sit like a man, stand like a man, walk like a man, smoke like a man. And once it's on tape, Peter, he took off for New York, I mean for L.A., with instructions that, uh, for me, not to tell the not to tell the studio or anybody at the studio that it was a woman. So uh, he's gone, and I'm going. Shit, I I don't even know if she can act. Luckily, she's in a play. Is uh, what is it? Kafka's uh, uh, Metamorphosis. And I went to play, and pff, she was great. She was great. So we returned to L.A. And Peter sends her down to uh, makeup for some prosthetic work, and and um, I set up the, the the tapes that we had made in New York for the for my boss Freddie Fields and the um, a few of the other key executives. And we look at the film, and they they look at it and they go, "Yeah, well, interesting fellow. Yeah, we like him." And Peter then real then revealed that uh, there was a woman. And Freddie goes, ah, I knew something was wrong.
I had a feeling about something, but hey, she's great. Let's, let's hire her. Let's do it. And this is what he left us with. Anybody that says or lets anybody know that it's a woman, you're fired. Understood. So I'm walking Freddie back to his office and David Chasman, the number two man at the studio, <clears throat> meets us in the hallway and he says, how'd it go? And Freddie shows him the pictures from the makeup with the new prosthetics and all on. And um, David looks at him and says, oh, an interesting guy. And I proudly blurted out, it's a woman. And Freddie turned to me and he says, you are fired, now get out of here. And I just, I mean, what? And I, I went back to my office, I was, I was shaking. I, I couldn't imagine why I was so goddamn stupid, but you know, it was, David was one of us. I didn't think it counted. I told my secretary, I said, look, anybody calls, you tell them I'm out. I'm out. And I just sat there in my office just going, I guess this is it, because Freddie's the kind of guy, when he says you're fired, you're fired. And my secretary buzzes me and she says that uh, uh, David Chadman's on the line and he insisted on being put through. So I go, oh, David, is this it? I'm fuck. I, you know, what a stupid fuck. You know, I said, am I done? Is this it? He says, just calm down, Joe. Just take it easy. Just come to the board meeting on Monday and don't bring it up. Don't say anything about it. Let's see what happens. And I uh, went. Didn't bring it up, and it was never brought up again. Linda was cast. Peter said to me, he said, this is supposed to be Mel Gibson's movie, but Linda dominated so much, she just went that way. And she went on to win the Academy Award, and Freddie gave me all the credit. He kept, Every time we were in the company, with other people, they'd say, he did it. He's the guy that did it. Uh, you know, she never thanked me when she got the award, but she called me afterwards the next day and said her agent told her, told her to only mention Peter, but this award belongs to the three of us. Peter called me. He said the same thing. And I guess the moral of the story is just simply that you can uh, turn anything around um, if you, um, you know what, I can't come up with it. We'll leave it at that. <laughs> That's the end of it.